Hey guys, welcome back. We're uh, playing X4. We are actually awaiting to continue our mission over there, but uh, I was looking at my stations and I noticed that this um, computer substrate is just not receiving enough ore. All of the uh, stations actually have the uh, same amount of ships. Uh, however, this one requires just a bit more resources. So I'm thinking about giving it just three more mineral miners to trade for him low preset at shopping list let's go with three confirm those orders and hopefully then it will um, just keep up with uh, demand supply and demand now looking at the mining station we can assume if actually we can see that um, silicon and ore is actually building up and which is just great it's great news that uh, this is working uh, it, it really is working and it is it, we've seen how well silicon works and even though this says it is 80,000 I don't think it's true I don't know how but you know you can see that over here if we go to our uh, satellites 0 0.17 and I think it's 1.14, 1 1.4 is the, is the is, is the most, and that's that's all over the place, right? So 1.4, 1.3, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4, 1.4
yeah, yeah we love to see that one ship but we know that he is going into a very problematic thing let's slow down We need to scan. No, scan it is is going to be. Let's let's get into our cockpit. I think we don't have to fight over here, do we? Ooh, something is. Information unlocked. Oh man, that. So there's the shield emitters. How odd. The trader reports that she was ordered to drop her cargo, but that nothing of value ended up being stolen. Only a small amount of foodstuffs. However, there's no time to dwell on that right now. This is as far as I can. Uh oh. Aha! Now that the venerable Terran individual has terminated communications, I can finally share my insights with my valued assistant. I do so fancy a scientific investigation. Let's go. Uh, we don't have to fly. Can we just remove that? Thank you. Okay, let's go. Accelerator. Neptune. I don't think we are going to be attacked, strangely enough. So, apparently I don't have to fight over here. We'll see. We'll uh we'll just we'll, we'll we'll find out. Let's use the boost. Just eat through our shields. It boosts that really nicely. You can also just do shift 1 and it goes really f should go faster, but didn't look like it. Oh well. Let's take our time. Just five kilometers. I have never been more happy with autosave. I know you probably won't see it. I will definitely make sure you won't see it. But I uh, I got blown up. So, yeah, I've, I feel really, really dense. What happened is I uh, I got overconfident. I uh, I immediately flew after the one guy who was going to be uh, annoying in this uh, fight. And I should have focused on the uh, the smaller smaller ships first and just um, go after the, uh, the big guy last. So, uh, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made, guys. Luckily for you... You guys won't be seeing it. Uh, we will be uh, getting assistance from our drones, but, you know, they are not that good. So there is the Wisdom of the Pines. By the queen. Those pioneer fellows seem to be oh, treads there. One step closer and your space flies out. This can't be happening. Fleet, defend yourself. Don't let that Yaki take away our hard-earned credits. Captain, are you sure? Of course I am. We're pioneers, and we won't be done in by a pirate. Hmm. Now he's probably going to try to get away. At least that's what he did last time. There you go, so there is now others coming in as well. Uh, 
Okay, I think we can actually safely do this now. If I can get... Over there, because he is going to tear through my shields. Oh, there we go. We're getting shot. Come on, ship. You can do this. Oh, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. Definitely. Finally. Oh. So we are definitely getting shot at. But these guys are not nearly as dangerous as the other one. And I'm getting direct hits. Man, I'm so... If I didn't have the other shield... I thought I, um, I... Ooh, I'm so lucky there. The, uh... Oh, I'm getting money. Which I like. Ooh. What happened? What did I do? My music. I pressed the button. Apparently Shift V mutes the music. Oh. Okay, where's the next one? Yeah, I'm not liking my front weapons at all. The beams are very strong, sure, but... Danger. I just don't like they're not moving with my target. And I'm very happy with my countermeasures this time. Okay, do it again. Dropping a few countermeasures. And they really work well. Man. P. Oh. Oh, that was a close one. Now, friend, I don't know how to thank you. Had you not arrived at precisely the right moment, Stand up against that vile fiend. But, Captain Atreides. Reuben, please. Give our guest a moment to breathe. Where's my food? Oh, here we go. Okay, it is finally building. Look at that. The uh, docking module is done. So, that is definitely interesting. Uh, look at the build storage. And it looks like it will start going quite nicely. And this number is going down. Trust me on that. So, where do we need to go for our mission? Maybe collecting the cargo that was scattered during this most heinous attack will help lift our spirits, yes? Please, friend, give us a hand if you will. Splendid. Please, friend, do accompany us on our journey. It is just a short hop. Upon our arrival, I will arrange for you to be generously accommodated. Can we do like... Nah, apparently not. Oh well. He survived at least, so I'm sure he's having a medium ship as well. This could be the gunboat maybe. Doesn't really say what kind of ship it is. But let's go after him. <gasps> we survived! Yay, take free! Because I was actually, um... That is really annoying. He, he's just going... Okay, match speed. He's going way faster than us.
Okay, we'll just boost our way towards him. God. Say, friend, what leads you to this most remote of places? None of your business. Now, I'm certain that my drones really, really helped me by occup just, just some of the fights are actually focusing on my drones. You can see that I've lost three of them. Yeah, he's going through it. Okay, that's good to know. We can steer in this direction. We'll do the same. Let's see where he goes. But um, that flyover loot uh, is amazing. Capital. Well then, my friend, you go and take the cargo you helped us collect to the customs officer over yonder. Don't worry, she'll catch on eventually, and you'll get your share. I'm hoping that this planet is the one that eventually look gorgeous. I'm not sure if that actually is a thing, though. By the way, did we lose our other guy? Engaged. Yeah, he's gone. The fleet is gone. He, he was killed. Oh, man. That's just sad. That really is sad. Out of docking range. Docking granted. Okay, let's go. Hopefully it does uh, do that as well. Uh, it doesn't look like it, no. Oh, well. Now we uh, we just need to go towards these. Uh, we never have to see the inside again. And that should be it. Here we go. I'm um, still getting used to the uh, the sheer size. Um, Docking aborted. Stimulants lab. Docking aborted. Docking granted. You got to be kidding, dude. We have a docking computer. There you go. Successfully done. This entire situation appears to be rather opaque. I do hope that this customs officer will be able to shed some light on what we just witnessed. Fox. Let's go. So um, I might change those two um, lances just to go for the gathering guns and we'll see. Eventually we'll find ourselves a medium ship that is less a problem, I guess. Uh, we can go to the trainer's quarter. Let's see if, they, if there's something we can make because we, we actually got some loot. Let's take a look. No, 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 no. None of it. Okay. Look at that. A flux capacity. All, all we need is a damage singularity engine, and we have a SATA. Or a SETA. Oh, that is so cool. AGI neural network. That is so good. I'm very happy with that. Do you have a uh, damage singularity core, perhaps? Here you go. Get these at least. Doesn't look like it, no. Let's confirm that. 
Good luck out there. Yeah, thank you. Let's see. Can I see my ship from over here? Of course not. There's, it's outside, you brainiac. Let's go towards the custom office. And I think we should go to the bar later. Yes? How can I help you? Ah, uh, yes. I've been expecting another delivery. One shipment of Terran Tech unloaded and ready for sampling. A few of these crates are damaged. That's a bit troubling. You wouldn't know anything about that, now would you? Um... Let's go... I don't know, like two? True, but you can't keep going overboard. I know how much this operation means to all of you. But if Protectorate citizens keep getting hurt, that'll put us all in danger. Here, take this as a token of thanks. And maybe tell Atreides not to overdo it. Hmm... I'll make sure to tell him that. Finally, someone who's reasonable. Because I think we are... We need to play along. I'm afraid I was not quite able to follow. We may have to investigate further. Yeah. The of the local recreation establishment will surely be able to elaborate. Trust me, assistant. For I have done my research on proper detective work. Is it an additional bar? It is. So, like, you got a mission bar then. Hello, sir. Light upon you. My people are spread far, and I consider it my holy duty to travel the gate network and give spiritual guidance to those in need. Uh. One day. These pioneers will perceive that their work is guided by the sacred geometry of the cosmos that shaped us all. However, I have realized with great regret that not even my coronet brethren among the scientific elite can spare the time for my counsel. Truly a tragic display of hubris. I had no choice but to withdraw to this humble place so that I may meditate and resume my service among the lowest of the low. <laughs> These people desperately need someone to teach them serenity and contentment. This area of the gate network houses so many disparate peoples, so much potential for strife. And even on this station, there is scarcely a moment of peace. Not so long ago, I observed a pirate with a terribly asymmetrical face storm through these serene halls, assailing innocent bystanders. It would truly be a shame if this budding community were to wither in senseless conflict. This guy is absolutely funny. Good day to you. He is just like your average door-to-door uh, -door sailor, it feels. Uh, were you... A f you had a pilot. A pilot? End up here. I was with the pioneers from the very start. Well, almost. Mining rights were difficult to come by back in those days. And if you're just some odd jobber on the edges of Sol, now the well-oiled machine of the Terran protectorate economy treats you like space dust. No offence, by the way. Don't know if you're affiliated, but you did meet up with us coming from that direction. Um, let's say Sean is said. Does she now? God, the gall of the woman. She's the one who got us into that situation in the first place. Oh, I'll tell her a story, all right, when I next meet her. Uh, nothing in particular. Uh, you know, the usual dangers of long-distance hauling. Uh, I mean, mining. Don't concern yourself with that. Right now, all is well, and you're our honoured guest. Uh, okay, let's go. Good point. Enjoy your stay. Who are you? Hello there. Ah, uh, okay. I'm just working for the captain over there. It's a well-paying job, all things considered. Especially with all the pirate attacks recently. <laughs> is, that a, is that a picture of a gun? So are you a marine? Boarding us on two. I think she's a marine. Yeah, about that. 
You do realize that we are professionals, right? That we've probably dealt with pirates in the past? That situation could have gone a lot worse, but it also could have gone a whole lot better if we'd made even the slightest effort to de-escalate. Look, I'm glad you came to help us out, but next time, try to read the situation first. Should probably tell that to the captain, too. Okay. Thanks for... Thank you for helping me. Bah, bah, bah. Nope, nope. She blew it right in my face. Is there anyone over here? Just this weird looking guy. Greetings. Greetings. I am, I am on a trade mission for the local branch of the Teladi Company. If things go well, I may soon call myself CEO of the Ugras Foundation, purveyor of progress and business partner of the Cigaris Pioneers. Independence is truly one of the greatest catalysts for profit. Okay. Hm. Everyone here is so secretive. It feels as if I am constantly walking on eggshells. That customs officer is the worst of the entire clutch. If you miss one small bit of the customs code and answer in the wrong fashion, you suddenly find yourself left outside and a deal shorn. Have you heard that certain sensory impressions can trigger memories? For huh? me, personally, it is the sight of my credit balance increasing. Mm -hmm. He wants money. A pleasure doing business with you. <laughs> I can already feel it all coming rushing <laughs> back to me. <laughs> Damn Frankie. Now, I do vividly remember seeing a man, most likely an Argon, leaving the customs office in a hurry. As a Teladi, I cannot really comment on such things, but one of his kind may indeed have described him as unseemly. His face bore strange markings. Possibly from a war injury, or a cheap surgery. That said, I was supposed to discuss a trade agreement today, and my appointment keeps getting postponed. I have waited quite long enough. Farewell, generous patron. I definitely made it um, while his journey towards this region, man, 180,000? Probably ask around. Okay, maybe this guy then. Are you arrogant? Stars light upon you. Is there anything new? Good day to you. Mm, doesn't appear to be so. Hello there, pilot. Uh, so she thinks she messed up. She told you that. You two must be getting rather close already. Look. I'm not saying she's wrong. I know I jumped the gun. I might have endangered the entire operation. I'm sorry I misjudged you. I simply saw a ship I didn't know arriving at that crucial moment and tried my best to keep up appearances. Mm. But I know that doesn't change anything. I should maybe just stay away from Shani for a while. A very long while. Do I uh, I don't think that's very subtle. Enjoy your stay. That should do it. I believe we have enough clues to find our Yankee connection. Are you kidding? Hello there. Well, he wanted to fight, so he didn't. Yeah? What makes you think that? Okay, okay, calm down. Please don't make any rash decisions. We're not criminals, alright? 
we're the neglected stepchild of the Terran Protectorate. And we've got to make ends meet somehow. That's true. Sometimes, one of those Yaki needs something from us, and we need something from them. We didn't expect it to turn sour this suddenly. Please don't make a fuss. I'll tell you what you want to know. So, let's see. Um, what were you trading with? <laughs> that sort of knowledge is way above my pay grade. I only know that it has something to do with all those new research programs that have sprung up in these parts. Apparently, our scientists are constantly hitting a wall. And those Yaki just so happen to sometimes have the solution. In exchange for high-tech components, for the most part. Okay. Well, good luck with that. Tamitha might know, but be gentle with her. She's just lost someone, and I imagine she's too worked up to sit through one of your interrogations. Okay. Onward! I have marked the customs office for you. Uh, though, I do think we might have to continue next time, if this takes any longer than that. He's calling me assistant every every damn time. Actually, we could just do it like this, right? Okay, how far is she? There you go. She is not moving apparently. That asteroid does look peculiarly inhabited or abandoned. Hmm. It might just be the poor quality of your camera's resolution, but I do advise caution. And there is the customs officer again. Do not spook her. We still have to find the clue. You stop right there. It appears that we involuntarily created somewhat of a tragedy for her. A careful emotional push might convince her to spill the bofu. Okay. Wait, okay, wait, we can do comms. What do you want? Are you threatening me? I have no further business with you. Um right, let's go with five. Thank you for letting me it's for the best. Towards the end, he was a danger to himself and everyone around him. Okay, let's go too. He might have been once. It's true, by the way. He came to me quite recently. Went on and on about this new piece of cyberware he'd built out of Terran high tech. He was so proud. And of course, he wanted me to have it. Thought that it would make me reconsider my decision and maybe go back with him. It was already so far gone. I couldn't bring myself to say no and so I took it. Kept it with me even though I knew I'd never return there. Let's go. Here. I'll make you an offer. You seem more sensible than I expected. And I have a feeling that you wouldn't stop searching just because I told you to get lost. You go ahead and take this. See where it leads you. All I ask of you is to keep an open mind and don't judge a book by its cover. There are going to be a few ugly ones where you're headed. Good luck. This appears to be a rather advanced piece of cybernetics. Its creator seems to have poured his very soul into the intricate metalwork. And if my eyes do not mislead me, yes, it appears to be linked to the scary and sinister asteroid in your vicinity. Assistant, I command you to investigate. Um, okay. Empty space. Oh god, no! Not sure what I should do here. Abandoned 
asteroid face. Maybe I have to scan it. I would love to have it though. Okay, so we got a hundred percent here. I would assume it would be enough. Oh, there is a um, a signal. Oh, there you go. Um, uh, but guys, I'm sorry for this, but this is going to be the end of this episode. Next time we will uh, continue with um, the asteroid. Thank you so much for watching, and I uh, hope you uh, you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye bye.